Mercedes, thank you. Another story developing through the day. More than a dozen historically black colleges and universities, the targets of bomb threats over the past 24 hours, some of them right here in Arkansas. The latest in a series of threats against schools across the country since the start of the year. THP 11's Jade Jackson live outside Philander Smith College, one of those schools targeted. And Jade, uh, what did it feel like uh, around campus today? Well, guys, so Philander Smith College, as well as Arkansas Baptist College, were closed until about noon today after authorities cleared them for any threats. Now, thankfully, nothing was found, but it's these type of threats that directly affect everyday life on campus. I think about what happened in the 1950s and the 1960s, where you had, you know, the four little girls that lost their lives in the uh, church in Alabama. You know, so that was a bomb threat that was actually a bomb. Social activist Edmund Davis says historically African Americans have been targets of intimidation within their own spaces. Uh, there's 101 HBCUs which constitutes about only 3% the total amount of students that are in college. I think this year alone and getting back into last semester we've had about 30% of all HBCUs uh, under this siege, under this attack. Last night at about 1.30, uh, our communication center received a bomb threat for two of the local schools, two of the local colleges in Little Rock. Philander Smith College and Arkansas Baptist College, both targeted in this national wave of threats. With the joint investigation with the Little Rock Police Department and the Fire Department, we were able to clear those facilities of any threats. According to a report from Little Rock PD, a man called into police communications saying he was a neo-Nazi who set explosive charges at Philander Smith and another school nearby that police believed was Arkansas Baptist. The man also claimed there was a vehicle bomb in a white van at Shorter College in North Little Rock. Because the suspect called in on a non-emergency line, they were unable to ping the location of his call. We are very grateful that the city of North Little Rock, uh, the police department, uh, and the FBI were very proactive and responsive uh, to come out uh, and conduct a uh, preemptive uh, bomb sweep on the campus. The FBI told THV 11 that they're aware of the series of threats to HBCUs across the country. They're working closely with Little Rock Fire and police and ensuring investigations are done thoroughly and deliberately. Until then, Davis says violence or not, the threats are a reminder that marginalized groups are still being targeted. We've come a long ways from the 1950s and 60s. However, we still have a long way to go when it comes to uh, disturbing venues such as this. Philander Smith College and Arkansas Baptist College couldn't be reached for comment. If y'all remember, UAPB also got a bomb threat last month. And the FBI will be following all of these cases across the country where thankfully nobody's been hurt. Reporting live out here in Little Rock, Jay Jackson, THV 11 News.